<laughs> Your deal. Tommy! You're just in this for the money! Now! Get off! Get off of me! out again, man. What? What happened? He stopped breathing. So do CPR or something. I can't. Why? Call 911. Tell me you got one of your songs on the radio. What? Your song on the radio? I had to hear it from Leonard Snow, our youth care worker. You were too busy. I didn't think you would be interested. Of course I'd be interested. And Leonard was wondering if you wouldn't mind talking to some of the kids in the program after. About what? About you? Your music? Just think about it. Oh, and Jack... Congratulations. Thanks. All right, let's try not to sleep in next time, okay? Yeah, okay, see you later. You know, I think that's really cool. I don't know if I really want to do it. Why not? I mean, you've done a lot of cool stuff. You'll have a lot to talk about, right? Yeah, but a role model? <laughs> You're right, you'd make a terrible role model. <laughs> Zoe. Hey. I got something you might be interested in writing about for your website. What's that? For your lunch? Sure. Okay. Bye. Another walk on the wild side? I doubt it. <laughs> What's the matter with him? He's in a coma. How? I wasn't there. All I know is that Tommy was freaking out, and when Tommy freaks out, Glenn doesn't know how to handle it. Who's Glenn? the supervisor that day. They said he followed procedure, but the guy's useless. He didn't even know how to do CPR. What about his family? If he had a real family, he wouldn't be in a group home. up to me. My girlfriend and I are starting to get really serious. I took family life in grade six, so I know what body parts do what. My question is, how can I learn to be good at it? Signs searching for technique. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> No, I think we need to do some research. Excuse me. Yes. We're looking for the guidance counselor, Mr. Borders. He's with a student. Can I help you? Uh, you're a guidance counselor? Miss Purdy. I'm new here. 
Yeah, uh, we write for RenegadePress.com, and we're trying to answer a question for one of our readers. They're, they're looking to improve their sexual technique. Um, you know, we want to give responsible advice and safe sex and all that, but uh, we looked on the net and all we could find was just pornography. Well, there are some books on teenagers and sex in the public library. That may touch on technique. Uh, could also try sexualityandyou.ca. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Something. He sent us to our room. Who's she? Zoe Jones. She writes for a website. So what? I'm trying to find out what happened to Tommy. When you talk, it kind of comes back on you, you know? Yeah, but this is for Tommy. You're the only one who likes the kid. Bino might have saw something. She was in the hall. Did she say something? Is Bino here? No. She's seeing a therapist. When can we talk to her? I'll call you. So, do you think any more about speaking to the youth group? A bit. And? I don't know what to tell them. It'll be fine. All you gotta do is speak from the heart. Good, I'll let Leonard know. I think they're having group tonight. You, eat. Speak from the heart. What does that really mean anyways? Uh, gee, I don't know. Maybe it could mean, um, tell the truth. on teen sex there's only one chapter on technique all it says is that there's no rules when it comes to it different strokes for different folks oh i've got an answer for him open communication is key talk to your partner find out what you both like what you are both comfortable with yeah, all right, okay, but add this. Um, if you and your partner can't talk openly about sex, then you're probably not ready. Done. You're still hoping to get a date from all this, aren't you? It's just a matter of time before something happens. to know each other better. Hi. You must be Bino. Who are you? I'm Zoe Jones. If she wants to do a story about what happened to Tommy for a website. Renegadepress.com? Bino! Just talk to her. Tell her what you saw. I didn't see anything, okay? You were standing in the hall. So? So then you saw something. Why should I stick my neck out? So we can get Glenn fired. Can you really get Glenn fired? If we can prove he did something wrong, then yeah, there's a chance. He used the floor hold. What's the floor hold? It's a type of restraint. Glenn had his knee on Tommy's lower back and his hand between his shoulder blades. And he was pressing down hard. 
Tommy couldn't move. He promised he'd be good, but... Glenn said it was too late for that. Tommy said he couldn't breathe. Glenn didn't believe him. I could hear him gasping and pleading, and then he just quit fighting. And he went quiet. Glenn stayed on him a while longer. He finally got off when he realized something was wrong. What was wrong? Stop breathing. Ben. Ben! What are you doing? He could have killed him. Look, you're still on probation. Okay, if you do anything to Glenn, they'll send you back to youth detention. Please, just, just let me do the story, okay? My name is Zoe Jones. I write for Teenzine on the net called renegadepress.com. You're a reporter? Yes, I'd just like to ask you a few questions about Tommy Stern. Is it true that you used the floor holds on Tommy? Look, the investigation cleared me of any wrongdoing, okay? But he's in a coma. Tommy was way out of control. He was a threat to himself and all the other kids. He's got fetal alcohol syndrome. He's a, he's a kid with a lot of problems. We do our best. Sometimes unfortunate things happen. Why didn't you stop when you said he couldn't breathe? How do you know? Somebody was watching you. I said it was cleared. I gotta go. I just read the sex advice you gave on the internet. So I guess that means you're having sex? <clears throat> no. You're too young. Mom, I'm not having sex. Mitten. Hutanik. Mom. Bus. All right, listen up. Have a seat, listen up. This is Jack Sinclair. He's going to be talking to you about his music. So I want you to show him some respect and listen, all right? Okay, they're all yours. Hey. <laughs> you got any songs on the radio? Well, one on the community station. So, the only reason you're here is because you're Wayne Sinclair's kid. Oh. I'm here because Leonard asked me to talk to you. Yes, yeah, so shut up. How many songs you got on the radio? You shut up. <laughs> what? Why did you tell the group I used to be a drunk? Because you were. What else did you tell them? Pretty much my life story. They seem to get into it. That's fine. But you could have shown some discretion. I didn't know it was a big secret. It's not. But I'm the executive director. I have to work with these kids. And what's this about me being a born-again Indian? <laughs> that was a joke. We'll finish this discussion later. Fine. I guess speaking from the heart doesn't mean telling the truth. So what Glenn said? That Tommy was totally out of control. What? So he gets treated like an animal? Look, I think I should talk to the people that actually run the group home. 
the hell for? Because there's more to the story, Ben. No. Glenn went too far. You shouldn't have treated Tommy like that. Come on. I'll prove it to you. Oh my god, two kids died after the floor hold was used? Stephanie Jobin and William Edgar. I told you. Well, if it's banned in some places, why don't they ban it everywhere? This is child abuse. I never thought of it that way. It's happened to you, hasn't it? It's not even funny. Oh, it is. How would you like it if it was your mother? I wouldn't. It's not. That's it. Bradley advice business. Well, you were right. Enough people thought something was bound to happen. Hey, Zoe. Zoe. Yeah? Got some renegade mail. Some guy named Glenn. Said if you really want to do the story, then he'd like to talk to you again. Less than over. Okay, thanks. Uh, see you later. I, uh... I just want to make sure you've got all the facts. See, I'm not even fully trained yet. I'm never supposed to be working alone, except the agency is short-staffed. Why didn't you do CPR? We were supposed to take the course last fall, but it was postponed and never rescheduled. Why are untrained people working in group homes? It's hard to find people willing to work with kids like Tommy. Well, if you didn't have backup, why did you use the floor hold? Situations like that I am trained for. I followed procedure. I went by the book. You don't think you did anything wrong? No. You know, the floor hold has been banned in most government-run group homes. Kids have died. I, uh... I had no idea. I took this job because I wanted to help kids. I hurt them. Ben. I still think you're too young to have sex. Okay. <clears throat> I am not having sex. I hope you're not. But if you are... I didn't know what kind to get, but it's important to be responsible. You didn't get them from me, all right? And make sure you read the directions. Should I go after Glenn, or should I go after the system? I don't know. What does Ben think you should do? Well, he wants me to go after Glenn. And you? Well, it's not that simple. No, Glenn didn't even realize he was doing anything wrong. So why don't you write the story the way you think it should be written? I don't know what that is. Look, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. Good night. See you later. Hi, Mr. Sinclair. Hey, Zoe. You and your sister will have to order pizza tonight. Do you want to finish that conversation we had earlier today? I have to get back to the office for a board meeting, but I just wanted to let you know you were right. The youth group really enjoyed your honesty, so go with it. I don't get it. 
Wow. What do you mean, go with it? I had some calls about you from other organizations. Not many role models for native youth out there. Try not to be too late. You know, I started this article thinking I'd blame the worker who restrained Tommy, but it's not that simple. South Trail Youth Group Home should have trained their workers properly and banned the floor hold. What's worse is that I think most people would rather forget about kids like Tommy. The only way to fix it is if everyone, kids, parents, the government, starts caring for kids. All kids. The only way to make sure that what happened to Tommy Stern never happens again. Ever. As much as I know my way around you. Hey, you're up early. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I caught you before you went to work. Hey, what's up? I don't want to keep doing these youth meetings. Why not? Because I'm not some picture on a poster. I'm not a role model. You're our role model. You were when you were drinking and you are now. Even if you're never around. You're a pretty smart kid. Let's get that from your mom. <laughs> Good looks are for me. Your article sucked. You know, I tried to look at the big picture. Nothing you wrote is gonna change anything. Yeah, they need to ban the floor hold. And yeah, more people need to care. But I've been hearing that for as long as I can remember. By saying everyone is responsible, you're really saying nobody is. Tommy's in a coma. Who's paying for it? Thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing.